We now return to Let's Play Sanctuary RPG. Okay, so let's go into the crafting here, and I'm going to turn this soul shard into crafting material. So, crafting 101, pretty simple. Okay, so up there at the top we have durability, and we have quality over there at the right. We're trying to get as high a quality as we can without breaking whatever we're trying to work here. And uh, I'm not entirely sure, but it seems to me that if you have high quality and high durability, you have a better chance of getting a really good item. Um, sometimes that's not always possible, sometimes you just have to go for quality over durability, but uh, let's see. We'll start out here with light, go medium, try and raise the quality a bit, bring it down a little bit. Now, I'm not doing so great yet, and that's just because I'm starting out, but later on my crafting level will be higher than my normal level, and I will be getting all sorts of good stuff. Um, let's do another strong. Damn it. I was hoping that'd be done, but now it's done. Okay, what'd we get? Not enough to make anything with. Okay, too bad. Well, I thought about last episode and uh, just how terrible <laughs> luck uh, I had trying to get a, a good item there, and I uh, gave up a good one. What I think I'm going to do is see what I can get out of that quest. I don't really fancy spending all of my money right now, but I think I'll go ahead and buy this piece of mithril and finish up the quest. So we'll take this back to him and see what he gives me. Okay. Well, th that comes with wisdom, so that's great. We're going to lose out on dexterity, which I'm not a big fan of but it's higher block percent and we get a big wisdom bonus, so I'll take it. And now, it actually looks like we've got some materials. So, what I can do here is I can give him the scrap metal, which will give me an item in return, or I can go to the shop, not the shop, the crafting place, and I can now make a charm, uh, but I can go to the crafting kit and I can use this to craft a commodity crafting kit, and that usually seems to just give you a key. Uh, now let's go to the Colosseum here for a minute. Okay, so you'll see here that we have a couple places that we can go to. Uh, questing keystones take you to dungeons with very difficult and deadly enemies. The ranked matchmaking it uh, doesn't really seem to do much other than give you a chance to gain gold and experience. Um, but the arena, where we can just choose to fight a random battle, requires a silver key. Um, and we will go up in rank, and every other rank will give us a soul shard. So if we're trying to get a bunch of crafting material, we can go through that and uh, try to win that stuff. I I kind of want a weapon right now, so I think I'm just going to redeem the scrap metal and see what he gives me. Okay, well, it doesn't have the stats that I'd like, but it's, it's a free weapon, basically, so I'll take it. It's even worse than the 15 that we gave up. Oh, man, I wish I'd bought that bow. Um, but now, I've got enough crafting material that I can try and craft a charm, and hopefully it'll be better. I don't even have one, actually, so it doesn't matter what quality it comes out to be, because it will be brand new for me. Let's try and add some quality to it without breaking the damn thing. Okay, hopefully that's pretty good, not really. Uh, more health and more dexterity. Well, better than nothing. So I, right now I have a 3% crit chance and only a 3% evasion. 
Uh, obviously, I want this to be raised because the Paladin has that thing where I can do damage when I dodge. So, actually building up my dexterity uh, would behoove me. Anyway, what level am I? Five? Uh, let's go in and see what the rogue camp provides. Bandit Rider. Damn it. He's also guarding, which I'm not a huge fan of. And we've already been cursed. Great. Well, let's see what we can do without that. I'm gonna have to heal. Oh, great, and he's charging. A lot of damage there. I think I'll take the time to heal. Okay. Now, as I level up and become stronger and more confident in uh, the ability not to just plain out die uh, in battle, I think I will keep my commentary to a minimum. I'll just do it. But now I have a 4% chance crit and evasion, so that's good. What should I put my last point into? Let's put it into... Put into str yeah okay strength okay and let's put this into attack and now I'm gonna put my eight mastery points into I guess the mace in the mall I mean until we can get a better better uh, well wait a minute let's let's see okay now you'll notice there on the screen up top I have changed location. And usually when you change location, uh, it resets the tavern and it resets the blacksmith stock. Let's see if the blacksmith has anything new. Yes, he has a couple new items and a new quest. What's the quest? Four silver keys. Uh, I think we'll just earn those as we go. Let's go see... Now, like I said, there's n nothing happens in the tavern until uh, we deal with Lysa. Let's talk to Lysa. Got time to tell me about yourself? My name's Lysa. It's not often anyone asks for more than a drink. Lysa? That's a lovely name. What do you do here? Serving, accounting, hostessing, cleaning, everything. I need a vacation. Uh, can I see the menu? Sure, what would you want? A beer. We're fresh out of beer. Yeah, and that's the thing. You won't be able to make money from beer until she gets out of here. Uh, place looks busy. I appreciate the sarcasm. You'd think running an empty bar would be easy. It's not. Can't buy food or drink. Why? No money for supplies. Yeah. How come it's so empty? No idea. What do you think is driving people away? Uh, maybe it's the odor in here. What? You smell something? A faint smell. Maybe there are dire rats in the cellar. Well, that would be cool if we could unlock that. Uh, when I played this, I was playing the beta version. It just recently was released to the full version, and they did add some things to it. So, uh, be interesting to see what pops up. Okay, so we didn't get anything from that. I don't have any money anymore, because I just went and bought that mithril. Uh, let's see if I can afford whatever he has, though. Damn it! See, now here's the thing. <laughs> I, I really shouldn't be looking anymore because I can't afford this stuff. So, looking at that and seeing the 2,000 gold, I should not come back until I have like 3,000, just in case. Okay. So, we're going to go battle for a while and build up some money. Uh, three elites remain in the rogue camp. You know what? Let's just spend some time in the grassy fields. Let's grind some money. A rose! Great! You know who that's for? Give the rose to Lysa. Rose, how thoughtful. Have this. Uh, that's not so great. So, I will salvage it. And get something from it. Okay, let's go back to the grassy fields. A hornet. A barbed one. Ah, damn it. So, barbed enemies I cannot use my ultimate on. But that's okay. I seem to be strong enough. Oh, uh, I hate these. Skeletons are terrible. Especially the charge-a-lots. 
as they charge you a lot, which severely limits your options when you fight. I'm not making a lot of money there. Let's just go to the rogue camp. A Punisher. A Punisher hurts you more, I think, when your uh, health is down. So it becomes even more important. Keep yourself healed. He's charging me. I am... shit. I need to break free then. In order to do that. Well, we'll just use Holy Wrath. No, wait, wait, he's a Punisher. No, wait, that was the other guy. Yeah. I think we... no, that, that's barbed. I forget the stats. Anyway, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna use our... our big stuff. like it. Hopefully we won't run into a level 10 elite. Stranger, I'm going to keep this short. The Brotherhood wants Lysa dead. Take the syringe into the tavern and inject her with it. Report back to me after the deed. You will be rewarded generously. Yeah, so here's where we have the opportunity now to make her go away. We can either warn her or kill her. Being a paladin, I will warn her. What, to murder me? I have to get out of here. Lysa runs out of the tavern screaming. She has left behind a trinket. Uh, the stats... Uh, now nah, the stats aren't worth it. We'll just salvage it, I think. Although, I mean, we would get more health. I'd lose out on, what, little percentage of a bonus on my crits. Defense isn't so much... Well, actually, at this point, I think it is, because I don't have a lot of armor, so... We'll just salvage it. And here we go. Um, shit. <laughs> well, right now, it would cost me 155 gold to buy beer. And then when I give it to the patrons, it would cost me... Or I would, I would make 118, so I would be losing money on this. In other words, it's not a good idea. So we won't do it. Um, oh... You know what I forgot about? This shared stash. This allows you to share uh, keys between characters. My other barbarian has a ton of keys. I think I'll deposit some of them so that I can use them for this character, and then I will be able to get uh, this blacksmith quest done rather quickly. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to the rogue camp, make some more money. Vampiric. Hmm. Well, luckily my Holy Wrath is right there for me to use. So that's a pretty good start. Uh, heal. Better heal again. Your health points carry over when you're done with the battle. So like if I if I'm down to half health, the next battle I go into, I will also be at half health. Not a good thing. Damn, this bastard's tough. Okay. I think we need to put a few more into decks. And we will put some more into wisdom. We'll also increase my armor. Uh, I, I really should be spending those, but I want a better item. So let's go after this last elite in the camp. Bane Guard and Resistant. Now, Resistant... What does that mean? To the ultimates? Oh, shit. This was not good. Thankfully, I killed it before it was able to trample me. Skeletons are worth crap, so... Ah, damn it! I wonder if I have to upgrade the tavern to get a better price. When you upgrade the tavern, it increases the number of patrons, I believe, as well as how much beer you can keep in stock. So, it pays to upgrade your tavern. 
but right now beer costs more than it costs or would give me in return. So I'm not a fan of that. Okay, let's try the camp again. Here he is, Bandit Slasher. I am also ensnared. Again? God damn you. Okay. It's keeping my health down, and I'm not a fan of that. Well, hmm. Let's go to the blacksmith and hope I can afford what he's got this time. Uh, that's barely better than what I've got. Not worth the price. Come on. Damn it. Alright, well, in that case, we'll go to the tavern and we'll upgrade it. Shit, that was the wrong button. Well, I may as well sell that, make some of my money back. What I wanted to do was upgrade the tavern. Okay. Can we craft it? Yes, I can craft something. defense, better, much better wisdom, and intelligence. I will take it. That was a good item. And I think maybe now I've got enough scrap metal for a new weapon. I would lose out on the strength bonus, but I, my intelligence would go up, and so that counts for attack anyway. Okay, we'll take it. I still... I'm going to wait and get the uh, four keys from my other character. What level am I? Seven? Okay. Well, let's just keep going into the Lost Woods. Another bandit slasher. Uh, I did pick up another ability down there, and uh, it allows me to turn the enemy attack back on them. But, uh, it doesn't always work. A lot of the time, it'll just deal zero damage to them. So I'm not really sure how to more effectively use it. But, uh, the Rusted Gate. Another boss. You know what? I'd like to build up another level. Maybe two. Bandit Lackey. This guy can hit me because his accuracy is raised. heal before we end the battle. Jesus. Okay. I should be putting this in two. A couple more points in dex, and now we'll put him into vitality. Increase my health. I've got ten mastery points. I'm just sitting here without. I should have taken that crossbow! Okay, we'll do that later. Um, I have not earned a... No. I don't have a silver key yet, so I can't see how the... Or show how the Colosseum works, unfortunately. I could buy one, I don't want to do that. Let's just keep going in the Lost Woods. Now, if you keep fighting, if you keep going back out into the field, you do get an experience bonus. Uh, when you go back into town, it breaks that bonus chain. So, it kind of behooves me to keep going and fighting if I can do it. Bandit Elite. Fantastic. He's noxious, so I will probably get poisoned. And I just lost a bunch of health. In that case, I'm going to go back to the grassy fields where I have a better chance of just... Oh, thank you. Of uh, healing... Um, actually, yeah, I can do that. And then we'll just break that. And there we go. So now I'm all healed up. I can go back to the Lost Woods. And we did... Uh, we did just change to a new area. Finally! Okay. So we'll buy some beer. 
and we'll turn around and sell it. Yeah, and every now and again, you get a gift. So let's go and open that and see what we got. I don't want it. I mean, the the big boost to vitality would be nice, but what I've got now with the 14 and the 20, it's really useful to me, especially since those are paladin traits. Now, a thing I can do here is just buy beer and save it. And it's a good thing to do that, or good idea to do that, when you've got a good price. Uh, it goes down to like 10, I think. That's the bottom price. What I think I'm going to do instead, since I think I've got enough money... Well, you know what? Just let's make sure. First, let's go back here. Let's make another charm. I'd like to get some rawhide so I could start having armor. But uh, we'll see what I can make here. Well, they must have changed the drops, because I usually get raw hide and wood splints at about the same rate. Uh, okay, so let's go back to see what the blacksmith has. Damn it! They're all going to be terrible. From here on out, I'm just never going to get a good weapon from him. Just because I spit on him the first time around. Okay, well, in that case, I've got some money. I'm going to drop that on a tavern upgrade turn it into a greater tavern, and I think I'm also going to buy some beer for next time. Okay, we're almost to the next level. I think I'll do that. That should get me to level 9, and then we can fight the boss. Vengeful. Vengeful enemies will do damage to you after they die. So... That's a pain. actually going to have to fight again before going to the boss so I have a chance to heal. I'm not going to waste that Holy Wrath. I'll save it for the boss. Uh, but yeah, look. Oh good, never mind. I just leveled up and that returned all of my health. Um, I definitely think I should be putting this into something else. Got pretty good wisdom right now. Let's put a couple... 6% crit. I'd like to keep boosting that up. Let's put this into Vitality. Okay. And then we'll go into... Uh... You know, I haven't run out of MP yet. And I think my character does get MP back. So I'll just put in into Attack again. Try and get that up. Okay. Mastery points. We have to do something about this. And uh, we're not going to get it from there. And, uh... Damn. Well, staves and maces, uh, that, those are probably pretty common. Well, no, I guess staff is equal to the magic. I'd really rather not put stuff into that. Okay, let's do the boss here and see what I can get. We'll risk it. After hacking your way through the rogue camp, you spot a man in a blood-stained white coat. You quickly realize he must be the doctor. You charge him, weapon raised in the air. He flees, running to an old side door of the town's monastery. The doctor desperately struggles to open the gate, but it seems to be rusted shut from years of disuse. The doctor gives up trying to pry the gate open, turns around, and draws a sonic screwdriver from his goat, lunging at your jugular. Decimation. The meter will increase if the battle rages on. If you stun when the meter is filled, it will deplete the meter. The bar is filled, the boss will trample you. I imagine this is going to hurt. Holy wrath. That's a good start. Dazed him. He decimated me. Wounded me. God, this is gonna hurt. Oh, he's got oh, thorned armor, too. 
fuck off. I need to get out of the way. Oh my god. That fucking armor is such bullshit. like a mother. Which is absolute nonsense. Damn it. I really don't want to risk him trampling me, because I know it's gonna hurt. He healed? Oh, fuck that. And I'm not gonna be able to get out of the way. He's just charging. Uh, another thing is that your heals are less effective every time you do it, so he's really just wearing me down. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. Not dealing enough damage, and if he is going to be a bastard, ooh. There we go, that's more like it. I just gotta keep my health up. And now he can trample me. Oh fuck. tried to trample me and I blocked it. He still hurt me anyway, fucker. Oh man, just let me... How am I gonna do this? I guess I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. I am whittling him down, it's just... I want to be able to do my 500% attack, but if I do it... Well, you know, I don't have to link this stuff. I can do a righteous slash right now. And that automatically gives me the 500% attack. It also resets my cycle, so I'm doing the weaker attacks. So, in a way, it's kind of a better idea to hang on to your 160 uh, attacks. I mean, even if that's all you can do, it's still 160% damage. Oh no, he's got his missile. Uh, but he's also going to charge me here. Oh, just die already. Fucking stupid. Okay. There. Bastard. Wait, wait, we can make a deal, right? How about I give you 50% of my profits? Fine, fine, 75! Not wanting to hear the rest, you stab the doctor in the face. You pry the rusted gate open and enter the monastery. I've been watching you for a while now. So good of you to join us. You are weak, but I will empower you with the strength of a thousand sons. Just know that you must repay your debts. All of them. 5% chance to block when casting heal. That's nice. 10% chance to shock upon casting heal. Sacrifice grants 10 rage meter. Hmm. Going priest might be nice. Because it stacks with the barrier. Finisher shocks enemies, though. I mean, that, to me, I mean, you use finishers quite frequently. So, let's go Templar. All 
right. Nice. Except not so nice. Actually, not at all. The stats are terrible, and I have no defense. We'll scrap it. Another wood splint. Great. Okay, I think we're gonna put some points into that, and points into strength. We'll also put a point into armor. Okay, I have to have a better weapon available to me now. Barrier, shield you and your loved ones from harm with its defensive ability. It stacks... Barrier stacks will increase repost damage. Hmm, fantastic. So we didn't go to a new location, so none of this stuff reset. Really? I now actually have to go into the Colosseum? Rank 2 required? Really? Okay. Well, that means I'll need these silver keys, which means I will need to give them to myself from my barbarian. Well, with that in mind, this is a good place to stop, so I'll see you next time.